Hey you guys, it's Prue here, coming with another soap today. This soap I've made a couple of times before. It's called Deadly Weapon from Nature's Garden Candles. And each I, I'm sure I've filmed it at least once, but each time I've made it, I've done a different design. I'm not sure what I want this soap to look like. The first time I made it, I did a gray and black drop swirl. Then after that, I did like layers where the colors were got from went from darkest to lightest and I wasn't happy with that either and and I also don't know what to call it because I don't like the name deadly weapon I even had a customer say that's a funny name so you know I, I want to find the design for it and match a name for it so today um, I'm trying a different color I'm using my Arta blue from nurture soap which I've put in some oil some oil from my recipe and I'm going to do a gradient wall pour and see how I like that. So let's get soaping. My oils and my lye solution are about 85, 90 degrees. And I have um, my aloe gel, coconut milk, and I put some titanium dioxide in here to lighten it up a little, um, even though it's going to get darker and darker. I don't know. I probably wasn't necessary, but I did it. Okay, now let's add the lye, and I'm not going to stick blend too much once I put the lye in. it. I think that's it. I'm just going to start from here on out. <sighs> oh, I should have put the fragrance in before I blended it. Oh boy, now I'm going to have to stick blend it at least a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. Did you hear that little hiccup? My stick blender is not well at all. She's going. Oh, that smells so good. It's a masculine fragrance. Okay, so I've never done a wool pour, so we'll see how this is going to go. Uh, here's my um, mold, and I'm going to put it on a slant, and hope it doesn't fall over. Enough of it. Oh, you guys can't really see like that. Oh, brother. Okay. And you can kind of see like this. It'd probably be better for you if I did it like that, but then I can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. So let me kind of slant it a little bit. Okay. Hopefully that's going to work. Okay, I wasn't sure what I was trying to do just now, but it was not comfortable in this position because, like, the pitcher is knocking up against the mold when I try to pour. And I, I think you have to, like, pour it right against the wall of the mold, but that's not going to work. Uh, let me just go ahead and do it. Oh, see? Oh! Come on! Come on! Come on! Build. I'm not going to clean it up right now either. I'm going to just buzz up my blue quickly and add some blue 
to the main batch here. I think I'll do two teaspoons with every pour. See how that works out. Oh no, I got a little drop of blue in there. Oh, I hope that's not gonna ruin the design. Probably on one bar it will. Oh well. Wow. in here. Don't spill it in it. Did I do it again? Did I spill some in there again? What in the world? No, I didn't do it again. It's just pushing it to the side. <laughs> the same one that I did the first time. This is a weird angle, and I know you really cannot see what I'm doing. <sighs> okay, two more teaspoons of color. I wish I knew how to s speed up video and <laughs> play music and stuff because this, I'm sure, is boring for you guys. Okay, more color. Whoa. Oh, I almost spilled the whole thing in there, you guys. to do 
color one more time. So thing is almost full anyway, it looks like. Maybe I should set it straight now? Yeah, it's gonna spill. <sighs> or at least take one of these off. Yeah. as possible now. And the top is basically all blue. <sighs> that was messy. Ugh. Let me pause you so it can set up a little and I'll maybe just do some swirlies on the top or something. Okay, well, this is taking a long time to set up. This is a well-behaved fragrance. And I also, I put it in my Essential Depot mold to keep it from bowing so much. The middle part still is kind of bowing, but it's not as bad when I put it in this Essential Depot mold. So, I don't know. It's taking forever to set up, so... I don't know what I'm going to do with the top. Let me just... <sighs> try to... No. See? It's, it's just too watery to do anything. So... Let me pause you again. Okay, well, I don't want to prolong this video anymore. I decided to put a little bit of the splatter of the dark blue color on top. It still hasn't set up, but I'm just going to kind of do that, and that's it. And I'll clean up the sides off camera. <laughs> okay there you have it that's deadly weapon but i'm trying to think of a better name for it you guys help me out catch me on the cut hey you guys i'm back to cut this deadly weapon soap that i made it's been three days now so it should be good and ready i hope I had put this one in the refrigerator. I actually, I put it in the freezer for a couple of hours first, and then I put it in the refrigerator. Then I sat it out in my hallway where it's very cold. I had it there for like two days. Then I let it sit in the house where it's warmer for another day. Um, come on. This was the gradient wall pour. Why isn't it coming out? You know, I, I always say, if I don't gel my soaps, they come out soft. The only thing I like about ungelled soaps is that the color usually stays lighter. <clears throat> there you go. That's the spot that I messed up. 
Okay. Yeah, it's real soft. Ooh! I like. Now I just gotta think of a name. It is really soft. Man, I don't like that. Sorry for the wobbling camera. I like it. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, I, I posted a video a couple of days ago, Sunday night to be exact, of the winner of my giveaway. It was Jen Spice. I haven't heard from you yet, Jen. If you're watching this video, Jen Spice, please contact me by next Sunday, the 21st of January. Otherwise, I will have to pick a new winner. So, please get, get back to me. Mess that one up. I like this color. I was going for a darker blue color, but this is fine. All right, they all basically look the same. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.